Alright okay. guys, so I created a quick list of all the past papers we have for paper three. Um I made a quick list of just the recent past papers. Where did I put this thing? Alright. So here's the list of all the past papers we have for paper three. That's not entirely correct. We still have the specimen paper from the syllabus, and I'm going to do the solution for that question next. But before, but before I do that, let me just answer some frequent questions I'm getting about this mysterious paper tree. One, what is the paper tree? The paper tree is an alternate to the SBA, and it's intended for private candidates. Two, how much percentage is paper tree, or more specifically, paper tree B? How much percentage? does it contribute to the final grade? Just like the SBA, paper 3 makes up 20% of your final mark. 3. How many marks is it out of? Well, paper 3 is out of 20 marks, which is kind of scary, because think of it, every single mark represents a percentage of your final exam. Even in paper 2, we have 100 marks representing 50%, so that's, so that's 2 marks for every percent in paper 2. So for example, in paper 2, if you lost 16 marks, you just lost 8%. In this paper, paper 3, if you lost 16 marks, you just lost 16%. 4. How is the exam structured? The exam consists of two compulsory 10 mark questions. Here's the kicker though. Those two questions can come from anywhere on your syllabus. 5. Can you use a calculator in this exam? Yes. 6. Do you get a formula sheet? Yes. And 7. The most popular question that I'm getting on this by far, people want me to predict, give my prediction of what I think is going to come. That's so if what I predict don't come, they're going to come back on my channel and blame me. Alright, here's the thing on this. I don't like predicting things I don't know. But what I can say about this paper, talking from experience with CXE, the paper tree normally mimics the SB. So in the paper tree, you will expect questions that that kind of asking you to get solutions for real life, real life problems. So the exam will target topics that make that easy, like linear programming, statistics, relations and functions, algebra, nothing too abstract. So I hope that can clear up even just a little bit of the worry some people have about this paper. The truth is that in 2018 here, you all are just the guinea pigs for this here, China. So you're going to have to hit it your best shot and try and be as prepared as possible for this. 